Hello, Diego here, recording a small video showing how to combine this image on AstroPixel processor using data from three different filters, uh, data supplied by Peter Lawrence, and um, it's pretty easy, I just go, first thing I do, choose the work directory, In this case, I have a folder called PETA, and after that, I just check my frames in here. You don't need to do this, but I only check what I have. Uh, these files have been already um, registered, stacked, calibrated. Everything, everything's good. So. After I check everything's fine, I just go to combine RGB, I add all of them, and I assign Mr. H A as green, O3 as blue, S2 red, and I also choose this ones again and I add them as green and green after I do that check the result The photo. Um, in this case, not much to do. Good data coming from Peter. I only crank up a bit of sharpness. Takes a bit to load. Sorry, my computer is not really fast to do these things, but I think it's enough. After a little bit of sharpness here, in this case I don't have to do much. I usually go here and tweak a little bit of how much luminance coming from green, HA data. Um, if I still have a lot of green in here, I can increase a bit of how much green it's coming from the O3 and the S2 data. If I'm happy with this, then I just uh, create. After create, I save it as it is. And as you can see, there is a bit of something here. I don't know, a gradient coming from something. I don't know. In order to get rid of that, I just close this up, open this photo, after I open the photo, if it opens, <laughs> yeah, takes a bit. Um, I will have to ask Mabula, I don't know how to interpret the histogram. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, maybe not. I like the photos anyway, so maybe that's what matters. But if I learn a bit more, maybe they will come better. Uh, in this case, what I did, I went to remove light pollution. I said yes here. It's loading again. Maybe this should be there, maybe not. I just get rid of it a little bit. Let's see what happens in this case. Notice there are no purple stars. Everything is good for me. 
I just come here, make a few of these fellas there, a few here, a few there. Then the area that I want to correct, I made a lot of them. A lot of them. Uh -huh. A lot of them. Okay. Let's see what result do I get. First time it was really good. Maybe this time it's not. Maybe it fails because I'm recording a video. I don't know. Have a look at this if I calculate. This beautiful software takes care of everything. taking a lot of load in order to process this as I can see it drops my audio let's see what happens still going drops my audio <laughs> I need a better computer for this I can hear music and process with a pixel processor at the same time what can I say still going there you go. I uh, at least with the music it's better. If I go five in here, it's not possible. Hmm. Yeah. Came back. Uh, halfway there. I'm just guessing it's doing a lot of numbers, <laughs> but it's coming. And um, almost there. Hopefully, we didn't stuff it up. Again, no music. Where's my music? Oh, yeah. And that's it. That's what I want. So, I just. If you click here, it will show you the image it corrected I don't want that at the moment I just click on save and um, save it as it is eee, we have a photo next thing I do I just save the data if I'm happy with what I see not so bad and easy but I, I, I always like to take it to Photoshop and um, Lightroom to do some tweaking so what I do it's I click save I can put a name here Peter Karina I can go OK here, save as stiff, usually go like that, and then I go 16 bits straight into Photoshop. That's it. Uh, after that, I just start playing with the data in Photoshop. But if you see, Fair enough, that looks fine for me, good enough. I hope this video is useful for you. Bye.